real quick, real quick. Um, finishing up some quick lunch here before work. Um, it's 2.33 p.m. January 17th, 2020. And um, I'm your host, Michael Israel. It's going to be a really quick show. Of course, <laughs> you already know it could be very, very much longer. I hope that y'all have been enjoying the archive such um this thus far um there's so much information but today's show is called black people do better black people got to do better and um i i am certain that many people have experienced this but you might as well not even call it a might as well not call it an opinion but it's just the fact that black people give their own people the worst service they give their people the the, the worst service from fast food to high end how low brow high brow however you want to call it you can go to mcdonald's and place an order and someone to be talking on the cell phone which what you say hold on hold on one second you know what i mean yeah what yeah what you want Oh, what can I get? You know what I mean? The the service just is not there. You know? Now, it's not... I can't say it's the entire black population. We already know that. But we know that it's just something. I don't know if we just consider our own people family. I don't know if there's, like, a, a secret hate. I mean, well, the scripture does say, you know... Uh, what What is that? What is that? Brother against their father and daughter against their, you know, we we are like, we are in a sense like family, but the worst, the worst service, um, in different business aspects, in a, in a essence of showing love to one another, is senseless, black people got to do better, um, I had a situation real quick, that I wanted to get some photos taken, and I met this white guy who has exceptional work. His work is just absolutely amazing. The photos are crystal clear. The pixels are high. He knows what he's doing, and he's worked for very uh, prominent companies. Uh, he has worked with commercial company businesses. He's done several weddings, of course, and other different types of photography. He's a white guy still going to work with them but his prices are high which is there's nothing wrong with it i'm not knocking it and it's definitely worth the money now there's a guy that i know there's a guy that i that i've, that I've worked with at another job now we're together at a whole different business and we're working together again um I've done some work for him, and he's paid me. Um, and now I'm asking for some work from him. So I was thinking, you know what? I could get with the white guy later, but I know this guy who's a brother, and he does photography. Let me let me do some work with him. So I looked at some of his photos. The pixels aren't high. He has, you know, he the work is decent. Nice filter, nice filter. You could get some more, you know, work with the camera shots as far as, you know, creativity. But I'm not knocking it. He's a great uh, person. The work is decent. It's not stellar, but his prices are cool. Very, very, very modest pricing. So I was like, you know what? I want to work with my guy. So I set up an appointment. I said, let's meet. Today at 9, you know, at my grandma's house. I got like over a thousand pieces of art there. And my mom's an accountant and a businesswoman. And she's going to make a catalog for me. Uh, so I can keep account of all of my art. How many paintings I I have. What colors that I use. How many colors that I use for each painting. How long did it take me. How many paintbrushes that I use? What type? How much does a paintbrush cost? You know, a full breakdown so I can know how uh, to better count the cost to balance my overhead. 
and, but anyways, okay. So I set up this appointment with this guy. We talked about it the day before. Now, the day prior, he was very adamant about me verifying that I received his email um, so I can look at the PayPal information um, because I outspokenly said that, you know what, you know, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and see the money now or whatever, you know, for the deal or whatever, you know, it was like 150 for um, for him to take like uh, photos of 10 to 20 paintings. Right. And, um, you know, I thought that was pretty mod modest or whatever. So and the other guy was going to charge like um, like 300, like 300 for like 10 paintings. Um, but so I wanted to work with my guy and, uh, we set up this appointment the day of, I wrote it down. I sent him how to get there on an, on an email. We confirmed the time in person at work yesterday. Now today, you know, I plan to sleep in, you know, I'm doing class, I'm doing videos for y'all, you know, I got work, a lot of other things that are going on in life, but I wanted to get this done, right? So, my bad if I'm smacking, I'm chewing on some food. <laughs> I got to get to work in just a minute, but uh, how can I say this really quick? He didn't show up. He didn't show up. He didn't let me know he, that he was coming late. He didn't verify. I mean, he didn't communicate. So, a little in after the time, you know, I sent a I sent an email I sent him a little a little email with a little message and I'm like uh, you know hey you know the address is such and such I didn't want to go the the uh, what can I say kind of pressed or rude way like hey like where where you at where are you you know I wanted to be polite you know and you know still uh, business minded and you know friendly so I thought maybe there's a mix up maybe he's running late. Maybe he didn't have the address, you know, so I just put the address as such and such. And he responded back, oh, I forgot. I forgot that um, I had class today and I uh, won't be able to make it. Which is understandable, right, in some respect. But when you try to do business with your people, you got to come through. You got to come through. We got to stop being rude to one another. We have to love one another. It's it's terrible. It's terrible that we can't get along. It's terrible that we don't like to see one another being successful. And in the regards of, I'm not going to say your name, because you've been watching the show for some time. So obviously, there's something in the show that you admire. There's something in the show that you're getting. There's knowledge from the show that the Lord has obviously wanted to show you. But I'm not going to say your name. It looks like you deleted the post. But I saw the post. And um, you're saying that I'm mocking the Lord because I am trying to depict his voice. I don't know what he sounds like. We know that his voice is like thunder. Who said that I'm trying to sound like the Lord? When I'm doing the show, I'm getting into the show. I'm making a show. So people who are... I'll just say politely say who are not like you, who are different and who has a different learning aspect, don't want to hear a story like, okay, on the first day, the Lord created heaven and earth. And on the second day, he created the blah, 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 and the blah, blah, blah. Turn to page three. Okay, let's turn it. Some people like it like that. I'm not that type of guy. I don't know why, if, if you have an issue... With the things I'm doing on the show, why are you still watching the show, miss? I'm not going to say the rest, but why are you watching the show? Like, I understand that there's differences. But you're going to be, we have to be accountable. We have to be accountable for the things that we say. Like, you've been, you've been with me. You've been with the show since the month, since the beginning. And from the, but I, but, you know. From the beginning, you've been like this. Maybe that's just how you are as an individual. But if you're feeling a something, feeling a certain way, the really the only reason why I'm mainly on this is because I started this show 
back in February 2017. February 2017. February 7th, to be exact. And you've been pretty much active since then. And now I'm wondering what's gotten into you saying that I've, I'm mocking the Lord, creating images of him. Who said I, I created an image of the Lord? Of, of Yahweh, the creator of the universe. Now, put something in perspective. I want you to think about this, and I'm going I'm to I'm leave you with this. Put this in perspective, okay? In regards to showmanship. In regards to soul winning. In, to gar in regards to being an, an evan uh, evangel uh, what's the word? How can you say? Evangelism. Being involved as an... Anyways, you get what I'm saying. So being a soul winner, helping the Lord uh, uh, by being a messenger, okay? Moses was not able to speak. He didn't, he didn't feel comfortable speaking amongst the people. But the Lord still wanted to use someone, right? So who did the Lord use instead of Moses to speak? Aaron. Aaron had a certain speaking style. Aaron was able to do it in a way to talk to the people. Moses, at the level that he was at, felt that he couldn't speak with the people. Yeshua was a showman. How so? What do you mean he was a showman? He showed showmanship. Miracles didn't have to be created to get oohs and ahs. That's what it wasn't for. It wasn't that's what it, it wasn't, it wasn't miracleized to do oohs and ahs. It was done to help those who had faith, of course. But it was also done because black people just don't get it sometimes. Some people, I don't want to say black in general, but even though black people got to do better. Some black people just don't get it until they see something. He had to show them miracles just to give them. He had to show them the miracles just to give them the message. You don't think so? The fishes in the loaves on the hills. Did he not perform a miracle with the two pieces of fish and five loaves of bread? He had to perform a miracle that everybody ate. He gave a sermon on the hill. Now, see, he could have just gave the sermon. And just leave it like that. But they were complaining about being in the wilderness, this and that. He could have just, he didn't have to do that. He had to be a showman. And the Lord has used me to be a showman. I am who I am. I, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm just an individual. I'm just a regular person. I'm not saying I'm holier than now. I'm just me. The Lord created me as an individual. I do music. I'm not mainstream. I, I, um... I project my videos in a way. I'm uh, vocal in some ways in regards of scripture. Because for me as a learner, I always wanted to, it, I always wanted to hear it that way. If you were to go and get the audio Bible, King James Version, and listen to James Earl James, the, the same voice that you heard in Lion King, why did they use the voice of James Earl uh, Jones? Why did they use the voice of James Earl Jones in Lion King as Mufasa? Because it gave it a real feeling that he was a, a, a it, it just gave it more depth. Why did they, why do they use the voice of Dark Vader? Why did they use the voice of Thanos in some movies? Why did they use the voices they use? Because they have to get a point across to a certain audience to get what they're saying. Some individuals want the bland uh, uh, Jim Stein, what was, what's the name, Ben Ein, Stein, Ben, ben Ein, clear, clear eyes, put the visine in your eye, you, no, nobody, some people want that monotone, I'm not that type of guy, and I'll, I'm just saying this to say this, I can't save you, you can't save me, if you got something to say in regards to that, you're better off keeping it to yourself, I don't have to like likes, but I do it to show love to things that I agree with, to things that don't make any sense, to people who are not on a certain level yet. I just leave it alone and I let it be. Nonsense things, I leave it alone and let it be. 
I let my channel be free for people to comment because I don't believe in censorship. The world is doing it as it is. They're censoring the videos. They're cutting videos. They're censoring uh, uh, the way we think. They don't want us to do certain things. I mean, you got to get the real ID by 2020 or you won't be able to fly. You won't be able to go in any federal building. So what happens if you get you don't get the real ID and you got a, a jury duty? You can't you got to go to court. You can have a warrant for your arrest. Just because you don't have a certain ID card. It's all these certain censorships. Why are you judging? Why are you judging? The Lord is black. Yeshua is black. I didn't create an image of Yahweh the creator in, in heaven and earth. I created an image of what the depiction of Yeshua could look like. His skin is made of burnished brass. They made art. Don't you understand? Think about this. Art was made for us to see. Art is made for us to appreciate. Everything is art. Your art. The dirt is art. The sky is art. The world is art. The Lord loves color. He puts it in the plants, in the food. He, he wants uh, 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 women. He enjoys women wearing the colors of scarlet. The colors of violet. You know, that rich purple. You know, there are going to be white gowns. There's a purpose for color. There's a purpose for art. In the scripture, did it not say they changed the faces thereof? So if they changed the faces thereof, then what was the faces before? They were black. So that means that people before painted, painted black significant figures like Yeshua, Abraham, Moses, Samson. So what's wrong with me? Do you understand? You're not on that level yet. And I pray that you get there. I pray that I pray that black people get better and they do better. They stop doing their people wrong. And I'm really getting on this because you've been here since the mud and you're still tripping. Like it's it's going on 2020 in the month of Abib. But for those as we got to do it in this world, it's 2020 right now and you're still tripping. You need to pray. We need to pray. We all got to do better. The Lord made fishers of men. He said, put down your rods and come and follow me. And I'll show you how to be fishers of men. I am like a fisher of men. All I want to do is live for the Lord. Do what's right. You know, eat good. Travel a little bit. You know what I mean? And stand by this word. I'm just a human being. So I put my creativity for the Lord in my art. In all ways, in the way I paint it, in the way I say it, in the way these movies are going to come down the line, in the way the cartoons are going to come down the line. So why are you judging? Why are you on that, miss? Is it just clickbait? Or is it just a bait to... <laughs> Anyways... Let's love one another. Black people got to be. Black people got to do better. That's the name of the show. Um, one.